All right, so it's storming out pretty good. Testing out the rain poncho. Got a little bit of thunder. Shelter's holding up. And I'm staying dry. Dub C here, we're back with another Survival Saturday. I've got a whole bunch of fun stuff lined up this weekend. We'll be reviewing some gear and eating some food. First thing we got is a Govee weather station. The reason I got this is it actually has an external and internal temperature gauge and a whole bunch of other features. So I'm really excited to try it out and see how well it does. Next thing I got is a rain poncho that also is an emergency blanket. I really like the fact that it doubles as an emergency blanket and you kind of put it on instead of just trying to cover up with it. So I'm really excited to check it out. The reason I brought this, it's supposed to storm pretty bad tonight and tomorrow morning. So I'll probably get a first hand check on it and see how well it does. For meals, I'll be cooking keto meals because I'm back on keto, but it doesn't mean I have to be bland or bad because I'm gonna be cooking some steak on the fire. And then I got a special breakfast planned in the morning. So other than that, it's time to get some dinner going. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that fire. Okay, first thing I wanna do is actually make a nice uh, coal bed to grill my steak on, so I'm gonna dig a fire pit real quick. Once you get a nice hole dug, then uh, kind of I place the grill down, kind of see, make sure that all the edges have a nice uh, placement and you got a nice cooking surface. So now, just gotta get the fire going. Weekend's fire start is actually very simple. You got cotton balls saturated with a little bit of Vaseline. I uh, heard about this trick and I wanted to try it out. But yeah, I just take a little bit of Vaseline, put it on some cotton balls, and then uh, kind of make it so they're not soaking wet but pretty saturated and get the fibers so they're nice out there so they'll catch off a ferro rod strike. And uh, we'll see how good it works. Wow. Really easy, really effective. So it'd definitely be good to have some cotton balls and Vaseline around if uh, you want to start a fire. We got a good fire, I'm gonna get a nice bed of coals and then we can cook dinner. We got a nice bed of coals. Here's my ribeye steak. I'm gonna cook that up. First I'm gonna put a little um, extra virgin olive oil on top and then some seasonings. I got the olive oil, it's kind of smeared around, and then I'm going to put some uh, Montreal steak seasoning. All right, let's see what happens. All right, while it's cooking on the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing on top. Drizzle some olive oil on there, and I also have some asparagus I'll be cooking once the steak's done. Some more steak seasoning. While the steak's cooking, I'm gonna be treating the asparagus. So I'm just gonna throw some olive oil right inside there and then throw in some seasonings and kind of shaking it up. So just kind of toss your olive oil inside. And then I'll be using Haiti spice for this one. I like to spice it up and just shake it in. Now I can just close it up, kind of shake it around. Okay, the fire's getting a little bit of crazy because of the fat, but I am gonna throw a light dash of this Minotaur spice on this. This is the Haiti spice. All right, we got the fire under control. Just grilling the steak now. This is the asparagus. Like I said, adding the olive oil and the seasoning, shook it up, and it's kind of coated everywhere. So I'll just be throwing that on there pretty quick. Okay, there's the finished product. Now I'm gonna throw my asparagus on and let this sit for a little bit. Underneath um, their asparagus, or just toss it on. For the asparagus, you just put it on there and just kind of turn it like a hot dog. Turn it every so often. They only got to be cooked for about five minutes. Okay, the asparagus is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plate it real quick. Try to. All 
There's the final product, grilled asparagus with seasonings and olive oil. All right, we're losing daylight, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start trying some stuff out. So we have their steak. You can cook it how you like it, but uh, I think I did this pretty, like a medium, medium rare, maybe a little bit more. So that fire kicked up and kind of cooked a little bit faster. Good. So, oops. All right, here we go. Perfectly cooked, very juicy, very tender. This ribeye is fantastic. Now, I'm actually gonna try some asparagus. You can actually eat it by hand or kind of fork, but I, ain't, I don't have a fork, so let's just try some of the asparagus. Asparagus is very tender, very um, spicy because I had the Haiti spice to it, but that's what I like. Perfect flavor. Let's do a little mega bite. So we're gonna throw a little asparagus with the steak. So I really like that combination. See if I can get a couple good pieces. There with this bite. Perfect. A little steak and asparagus. That is a perfect combo for me. I really enjoy the steak pairing with the asparagus. It has both, they're both very tender, very juicy, very flavorful. And then they got that spice because of the added Haiti spice. But this is a great pairing. It's excellent having it out by a fire. Okay, absolutely perfect dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and we'll start a fire inside the shelter and then uh, show off that weather device. Okay, the cotton worked out great for the other fire and I had some left over, so might as well use it again. Wow, that's very effective. Other methods are, you know, nice too, but this one, you know, one or two strikes, it's instantly going. Now burn time doesn't seem too bad, but it might be a little bit lower than others. Okay, we got a nice fire going, so I figured I'd make some coffee on it, and uh, then we'll talk about the Govi weather station. Special thanks to Jack of Trades. He sent me some Mondo drip coffee. It's another pour over coffee. Go ahead and check this one out. Looks like it's uh, very similar to the other pour over coffees, but maybe a little bit more unique in flavor. This is the Ethiopia medium roast. Looks like three bean on a six. It's got the instructions on the back. Kind of let it brew. You always want to be careful not to pour too much because it'll uh, overfill. But it's really nice having some fresh, like brewed coffee, and a change up from instant. All right, while the uh, coffee finishes brewing, let's go ahead and start talking about the Govi weather station. So I bought this because has an external device that you put outside and the internal reader that gives you indication of indoor temp and outdoor temp. So I've placed the other meter outside. Okay, first feature I'll talk about is the top button. It's a light and a snooze and it will lose light when uh, to preserve battery. So you just hit the light, turn on, and it has the date, 11th month, 14th day, Saturday, time, 610 I really uh, think it's cool how there's a moon phase and uh, it keeps going out because it's trying to preserve battery but you just got to kick it back on um, as far as the I thought it was really cool it has a 12 hour forecast and then I think that's barometric pressure Oops. and then we have our outdoor temperature which is 39 or 36.9 degrees Fahrenheit and 69 percent humidity and then the indoor temp which is 65 degrees Fahrenheit with 65% humidity. Um, and the, like I said, the device is outside. It is kind of annoying how it keeps going off. Um, but again, it's to preserve battery. You can run it with uh, a DC, five volt, it comes with a plug-in. And then it all has it, the batteries go here. And then you can set your time and everything like that. It can go in Celsius or Fahrenheit. So that's really cool in both um, sides and then you can set alarms for the weather and then channels for the device and 
this to pair. So really cool. I like having it out here so I can see the external temperatures and reading how good it is um, how far as the wood burner. So I'll keep monitoring it and uh, see how cold it gets tonight. Coffee's ready to try out. So I'll squeeze the last little bit out. And again, this is the Mondo drip coffee. Let's give it a shot. Wow, that coffee is extremely bold. It has a really nice bite to it. It's kind of bitter, but it's more bold than bitter. And it's definitely very uh, dynamic taste. And then keto dessert is a little Barney butter. This is almond butter smooth. A little on-the-go snack pack. And you just need that just like your MRE peanut butter. But uh, it's keto safe. It's a nice little snack with your coffee. Okay, this is the remote sensor to the GoV um, external. So basically has the temperature on it, 33.3 degrees Fahrenheit, slowly dropping. And then it has the channel so you can match it up with the other device. That's where you put the batteries. It has a stand and you can you know, set up to hook it. I'm not, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be waterproof because it's supposed to go outside, but um, if it rains tonight and it goes out, well, I guess that'll be the test. But I just wanted to show the external sensor. Okay, so a really cool feature on this is it just started raining outside. And uh, look at the rain under the clouds. So it picked it up right away. And uh, just thought that was pretty cool. I do not like how that uh, light keeps going out, but let's just save the battery. Okay, we got our storm finally came in. And it's raining really good, but uh, no leaks from the tape. And really no leaks anywhere else. So, keeps holding up good. Okay, it's bedtime. So I got the Teton negative 25 degree Fahrenheit sleeping bag. It's kind of an overkill because I got a hot fire going. Um, it's nice and warm inside the shelter. It's raining outside. It's supposed to be a nasty storm. So it's a good chance to leak test the roof for all the tape and all the repairs I've done. I am trying the thermal rest pad. Um, the other pad I tried last weekend was uh, it moved around a lot. This is a square pad, so we'll see if it holds up comparatively to the other one. But just enjoying my time at the shelter. I'm excited for breakfast. I got a pretty cool item I want to cook up. So I'll see you then. Okay, it's morning time. Had a gnarly storm last night. A lot of rain. I filmed a little bit um, on the roof showing the, how well the tape held up, but no leaks. Uh, and say it can handle that storm. I'm pretty sure it can handle any big rainstorm. Now we'll see how um, it holds up against snow. But no leaks. The tape held up. And it was a pretty gnarly wind as well. But for breakfast, like I said, I had a surprise. In one of my other videos I did at breakfast with powdered eggs. And boondocking with Dennis and Pine Tree Lime Productions. Um, actually suggested making an omelet in a bottle. So I did. So I got about four eggs, spinach, broccoli, jalapeno, green pepper, and then as I was eating that steak yesterday, it was quite a bit, I cut some off and I put bits of steak in here. So I'm going to have a steak egg cheese omelet. And for the cheese, I'm using cheese with the jalapenos from MREs. So I'm really excited to try this out. And I'll show the cook in it. I'm making my coffee right now. But then as soon as the coffee's done, it's omelet time. Okay, got my coffee water, now um, Dutch mess kit. We'll use the larger one, like an omelet pan. I'm gonna add the olive oil, just so it doesn't stick. Get it nice and warm. Kind of cover all the bottom, all the sides. It's gonna be a big omelet, so I don't want it messing, messing around or stick it to the side, because it may make it hard to flip. Because then it'll turn into scrambled eggs. And I'm okay with that. Once you get that spread out, and then we can take our omelet in a bottle, give it a good shake. And just dump it in. I've never done this before, so it's always fun to try new stuff. Now we have our omelet in a bottle inside the pan. Just sit. Let it cook. 
Special thanks again to Checker Trades for providing my coffee. This is the Mondo Drip Coffee. He actually sent me a bunch of flavors in this. I'm going to be trying this flavor today. I think it's Sakura. It's uh, three beans out of six. We'll make that while uh, our omelet's cooking. Same thing as the drip coffee. Get your little satchel out, place it in your cup, pour hot water over it. Once you get pretty good at it, you can actually just do it right here, right by the fire. It takes a little bit of patience, but you get better coffee. Okay, it's starting to rain, but here's the drip coffee again from Mondo. Go ahead and try that while my omelet's cooking. All right, this uh, flavor is very interesting. Uh, it's bold, and then, but not bitter, and it's just a very interesting flavor. I enjoy it. It's a very good coffee. I love trying these new different kinds of coffees. It's really cool. They offer such a variation in flavor. A little bit of a change up. It stuck to the pan. So we now have steak, egg, and cheese scramble with green peppers, spinach, broccoli, steak, and then here's the cheese. I'm going to be putting the cheese bread with jalapenos in there. All right, the rain has really picked up. But look at this. This is the final product. This is Basically a steak, egg, cheese scramble with green peppers, spinach, and broccoli. It's time for the taste test. As we get hammered with rain, I'm gonna get the steak, green pepper, jalapeno all right in there. The cheese is all over it. Let's give it a try. This breakfast is gonna be hard to beat. I picked a nice hot jalapeno. because It's got a good kick of heat in there. Uh, the cheese, the green peppers, the broccoli, and the spinach all give it a nice vegetable crunch. And the eggs bring everything together. I'm going to go ahead and add some hot sauce and some Haiti spice to it. Time for that mega bite. I got the hot sauce and Haiti spice right here on this piece of steak. I actually got two pieces of steak. There we go. I really love when you can take something awesome and make it even better. The hot sauce and the Haiti spice just even just improved it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and uh, we'll talk more about that rain, po rain poncho. Okay, this is the rain poncho I was talking about. The rain kind of slowed down quite a bit, but I still wanted to kind of show it on and see what it's all about. Now, as far as me, it's still very cold and wet, and this is keeping me warm. This reflective material is actually reflecting heat. I can feel the heat around my head. It's, it's really quite nice. If you didn't have a coat, this could definitely keep you warm, just like an emergency blanket. And it can actually be reversed. So if it's too hot, which I haven't tried yet, you can actually took the reflection side out um, to reflect heat. So if it's, you know, if it's a really hot day out and then you can also use it to uh, kind of signal. So I'll show that in a second. Okay, this is the reversal. So now the orange is in and the shiny is out. And this is, uh, I can definitely feel the difference in heat. So it's definitely reflecting the heat. And this is not something you want to do probably during the cold. But I like the versatility of it. Um, I probably it will have one with a blanket, emergency blanket, just because I like both. In fact, an emergency blanket you can make a shelter out of, and then this will keep you warm while you're doing it. But I like the fact that this wraps you without having, you know, trying to hold a blanket or anything like that. I got one on, I'm starting to maintain heat, or I'm starting to reflect heat, or, you know, signaling all the time while I'm trying to survive. So, definitely going to keep one of these in uh, my EDC kit and my backpack. Very lightweight, very compact, and the cost, very cheap, you know, can't beat it. So, just wanted to show it off. Okay, so final thoughts on this adventure. It's starting to really storm in the shelter. And then uh, this rain poncho works great. Keep me dry and keep me warm. Got a little bit of thunder. Like Thunder's always trying to steal my thunder. Oh, and now it's starting to hail. All right, well, at least it's not raining. Definitely an uh, awesome storm we got. Just enjoying it. Okay, so final thoughts on this overnight. Shelter worked good in the storm, still working good. Dinner was awesome. Having steak and asparagus over the fire, can't beat that. Having uh, the steak, egg, cheese scramble in the morning was awesome. This rain poncho is working fantastic. I'm warm and I'm dry. 
And then the Gold V internal and external weather station is working good as well. The uh, external is definitely waterproof. It's working just fine even in the storm. I'm going to hunker down in the shelter. That's all I got now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.